Whenever my family or friends come to me for help with their computer issues, I always suggest trying a simple reboot. It's surprising how often this quick fix can solve the problem. However, there is a right and a wrong way to do this. Let's dive into the reasons why. A VPN can protect your online data and security and is essential for unblocking streaming services from all over the world. For my recommendations and deals on the best VPNs, take a look in the description below. One of the main reasons rebooting your computer is effective in resolving issues is that it clears up the RAM. Once you turn on your computer, it starts working on different tasks in the background. While it carries out these tasks and runs various programs, it creates temporary cache files. Cache files are useful files that assist software in loading information quickly. You can think of them as shorthand notes your computer takes, allowing it to create the original data rapidly. Ensuring your computer runs smoothly is crucial. And a proper reboot can do wonders in removing unwanted data. And knowing whether to restart or shut down your computer is important. Believe it or not, this decision makes a huge difference in maintaining your computer's performance. Sometimes people think they should choose shut down instead of restart when they need to stop all the work on their computer. But actually, restart is the option that does the job properly by ending all the ongoing processes. When Windows 8 was released, Microsoft introduced a new feature called Fast Startup, which was designed to make your computer start up faster by saving important system files and drivers to a hibernation file during the shutdown process. When your computer is turned on again, it reloads the drivers and files from the hibernation file, resulting in a faster load time compared to doing a restart. When you restart your computer, it initiates a new session for your Windows, services, drivers and devices. However, this is not the case when you shut down your computer. Now, as previously mentioned, your computer wakes up from a fast startup after a shutdown, which means it does not start a new session. This could be why your computer problems persist even after multiple shutdowns. Windows Updates provides an example of how important a restart is. After installing updates, you receive a prompt to either install updates and shut down or install updates and restart. But regardless of your choice, Windows will restart your computer before shutting down to ensure that everything is reset and cleaned up, ready to start a new session. If you're still unsure about the difference between turning off and restarting your computer, or if you want to ensure that your computer shuts down completely every time, you can simply turn off the fast startup function. This will guarantee that your computer will shut down completely every time you turn it off, giving you the same results as if you had restarted it and initiated a new session. Just be aware though that doing this will increase the loading time of your computer. However, newer PCs and laptops usually have SSD hard drives. To turn off Fast Startup, press the Windows key on your keyboard and search for Control Panel. Select it, then choose System and Security and then select Power Options. On the left side of the screen, you'll see an option to choose what the power buttons do. 
Select it, then scroll down until you see the shut down settings section, where you'll find a fast startup checkbox that will most likely be checked for most people. If the options can't be selected, click change settings that are currently unavailable and you'll then be able to uncheck the fast startup option. Remember to save your change and that's it. You no longer need to worry about any issues still being there after a shutdown, as the shutdown will now be the same as restarting your computer, giving it a fresh new session. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and product reviews.